Hi there, my name is Martin Haru and I live in Sydney, Australia, uh, originally from Canada, and I'm a neuroscientist. Um, in a previous life, I was a physiotherapist. Um, that means I have no formal training in computer science or software development, something I learned kind of on the job during grad school and I've been doing it ever since. Early on, the people who taught me were self-taught themselves, um, and since then, I've been just trying to learn how to be a better coder from books, uh, online tutorials, I've paid for some online courses, um, but it's been a bit of a, you know, you get into this cycle of just watching tutorial after tutorial, uh, reading book after book, and you're doing it because it makes you feel better, but really you, you might not be learning as much as you think you, you can. Um, and part of that I think, it's my opinion, but it's that it's not really, f the interest isn't there. Um, other people are giving you topics or apps or things to do, um, and it might not be a great fit for where you're at in terms of your own learning, or it's just not a topic that interests you. Um, so that just means that you either, I couldn't see some of those tutorials all the way through, or whatever I learned within a month or so, I just, I just couldn't remember at all. Um, and so I was kind of looking for, how do I get my coding skills and, and just my mindset as a developer a little bit more professional and bring it to that next level? Um, and so... I was looking for that, and uh, on a podcast, I heard about Bob and Julian, and they just seemed like nice people, uh, and I heard about Pie Bites, so I went over there, I thought that was great in terms of fitting into my lifestyle, little bits to make sure that I was keeping up the practice of coding and thinking that way, um, but it still wasn't exactly what I wanted in terms of something that would help me and the ideas that I had and, and the focus I wanted uh, to go to that next level. Um, so I was lucky enough to come across the Python developer mindset. Uh, program and so uh, I took part in that uh, and that's 10 weeks uh, that I just finished not too long ago and it was great uh, for me it fit well into my lifestyle because it wasn't I had to I want to keep my job I love what I'm doing but I just want to up my skills so I can't take part of a in a two-month boot camp or anything like that it's just something that fit into my life um, in the evenings and weekends is when I did it um, so it may it was a pretty intense 10 weeks um, but I got so much out of it um, on the coding side of things, uh, I learned so much about Python. I learned so much about how to think and to develop as a professional programmer, um, how to use tools like GitHub, a bit intimidating at first, how to do that. Uh, obviously, you do that in every day if you're part of a professional team, um, but I'd only used it casually and maybe with one or two people, very informally and, to be honest, improperly. Um, but as part of this program, I now feel much more comfortable with GitHub and how to do that and um, how to think and develop my code and get proper feedback. And it's, it just was an amazing experience on that side of things. Um, I got two complete apps uh, that I finished and pushed up to PyPI and shared it with the community, um, which is kind of a major accomplishment for me. Um, I, I polished up some programs that I had and are now out there in the wild. And I've got a third one uh, that I'll be completing soon. Um, but on the other side of things, there's this whole developer mindset, which I was a bit surprised how much I enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, the program is really geared towards you and your goals and what you want, um, but not just on the coding and project side, but also just in terms of growth, uh, personally and professionally. Um, so that was kind of interesting and it, cha it was challenging. It made me ask questions that I really hadn't asked of myself possibly ever or in a long, long time. Um, and also just on that side of things as a developer in coding, where did I want to go? Uh, where did I want to be um, in six months, a year, five years from now? Things that I'd never really asked myself. Um, and so with the help of Bob and Julian, um, it, it was a very supportive environment. And, and what was the, probably the most surprising as somebody who tends to be a bit introverted was um, that I quite enjoyed the social aspect of the program with the other people that were going through the program um, with me. Um, they were all over the world, which is really interesting, a great diverse group of people. Um, but we'd be on these calls and you would hear people um, with their troubles and their uncertainties and dealing with the imposter syndrome or dealing with people at work. It all came up and it all sounded very familiar and, and they gave me great advice when I had issues and I was able to kind of reflect back and, and hear it from other people. And so that was just really um, an extra bonus for me that I got out of the program. Um, so here I am, I finished the program, um, 
quite proud of myself that I did it. Uh, I got lots out of it. Um, make sure that you, you, you pick a time uh, where you can really dedicate 10 weeks because the more you put in, the more you get out. And Bob and Julian will be there uh, with you along for the whole ride. And um, it's just amazing. Uh, I now feel much more confident uh, with my coding and developer skills. Um, and it's not as intimidating. I realize that I'm not going to go and, and do a startup or anything right away. But for what I wanted, I got everything I wanted out of it. And to be honest, a lot more um, mindset wise, which is probably the best. Uh, I just feel more confident and just have a bit more an idea where I'm going and how I'm going to get there. Um, and so if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for, this is the perfect program for you. Um, and so I really hope that you enjoy it. And as Bob would say, go crush it.